You can come into this city and it's like coming into a living museum. You can come in with your children and teach them the history of America. You can go through some of the greatest museums in the world. We have some of the greatest exhibits in the world. The National Air and Space Museum is the busiest museum at the Smithsonian. In, in fact, it's the busiest museum in the world. Last year they had 10 million visitors here. This gallery, the first one as you step in, is the Milestones of Flight Gallery, which has the first of flight, and I think that's why it's so popular with everyone. It has the Wright Brothers Flyer, it has the first plane that broke the sound barrier, it has the Spirit of St. Louis, and all of these are the originals. These aren't uh, replicas. Um, other things in this museum, if you were to say what's a must-see in the Air and Space Museum, probably um, Amelia Earhart's plane, which is upstairs, um, the Space Hall, which has John Glenn's spacesuit, and, and takes you through the space race, starting in the, um, uh, with the Cold War and on through the Challenger disaster and other things. Um, also, this, this museum has an IMAX theater, and that's very popular. All day long, they run different films and the big, uh, you know, five-story high IMAX uh, screen. There are three huge museums at the Smithsonian. One is the Air and Space Museum, and that's where we are now, and the other is the Museum of Natural History. History and the Museum of American History. If you were to come to Washington and you had your must-see list, I think it would probably include the Hope Diamond in the Museum of Natural History, which about a year and a half ago was put in a beautiful new setting where it rotates around. It's in its own special case and in its own gallery. Also in Natural History is the um, favorite of all the kids, the Dinosaur Hall and the Insect Zoo. Moving on as you go closer to the Washington Monument is the Museum of American History. And um, I think the first stop there for a lot of people is the First Lady's Gowns, which is, it's a lot more than just an exhibit of dresses. And then, of course, there are a number of other Smithsonian museums, including some that are not here on the mall. Well, the best thing about it is that it's all free. All the Smithsonian museums are free, and they're open seven days a week. We're closed only Christmas Day, and the museums are usually 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m., and sometimes in the summer there's evening hours.